Hey guys, so we have three new cubes today. A square one, a Mega Minx, and the GAN 11M Pro. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I guess we're gonna be saving this 11M Pro for last, and wow, th this box is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so, hmm, Mega Minx or square one? Let's decide. Uh, Let's just go with this Mega Minx first because it seems pretty easy to open. Okay, so, ooh, okay. So this is the Mega Minx that we have inside here. Let's just open it like this. Very simple packaging, I appreciate it. So, um, I have never held a Mega Minx before. And, wow, I don't even know how to make this. Oh, okay, this is this is interesting. Okay, I am I'm so bad. Was that, a, I don't even know, was that a J-perm? I mean, I don't even know what to say because I can't, you know, I can't Mega Minx. But from what I know, this Mega Minx is really good. And um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm so bad at using this thing. I can't even solve it now. Um, okay, so th th this is really awkward because I can't solve a Mega Minx. But basically, from what I can tell, it turns really good. I don't even know how to finger trick it, but you know, I might have to add a little lube. But other than that, yeah, it's super awesome. Look at this. Like, wow, turning Mega Minx action and stuff here. So yeah, um, I guess that's basically it for the Mega Minx. I'm sorry if I wasn't able to be able to say that much because like I can't solve a Mega Minx. But yeah, I guess anyway, we can just move on now to the square one. Let's just bring out the knife here. Uh, let's just. Cut it open, I guess. Okay, so that bit out. Um, I think that's good. So there we go. Let's just throw this plastic. And now we have the square one box. Let's just get it open. So I think, yeah, we remove this part. And then, yeah, okay. There we go. So this is the square one. So it's a bit in a bit more packaging now. And from YJ, so pretty interesting. Let's see what we have here first. There, okay. Let's just go through this really quickly. So, pamphlet, probably a tutorial, something. The screwdriver, whatever this is. I think these are extra parts. But anyway, let's just put these all back now because you're not here for the accessories. You're here for the square one. So, uh, wow, this looks pretty interesting. There we go. Let's remove that. And now we can open this thing. Okay, this is, this is cool. Wow, it's a squan. Okay, this is a, I can turn this a lot better than the Mega Minx because I don't know Mega Minx finger tricks, but you know. Wow, I, it can it can shape shift, yes. It's pretty really awesome. Okay, so again, I, have, I, I can't really say that much, but from what I can see, this turns really well, like wow. I'm definitely gonna learn how to solve a square one and a Mega Minx later and Oh yeah, it's mega. It's magnetic, by the way. So that's pretty cool. Wow, this looks like end terms. Okay. There. Okay, we're back to its original shape. So yeah, this is just really awesome. Um, from what I can tell, it works really smoothly. And yeah, I'm just really excited to learn square one and even the mega mix, you know. But yeah, that's about it for the square one as of now, at least. And now we're gonna be moving on to the Gan 11M Pro. Okay, now this I can actually provide some feedback on. So, I mean, let's just get right into it. So let's just open this box here. Okay, so I think that's good. Let's try to open the box now. There we go. And let's just remove this plastic. Like what I said a while ago, really shiny in it. It's pretty cool. So anyway, let's just open it up. And come on. There we go. And wow, this is cool. So we have our card here. Yes, very nice flex. <laughs> okay, and now we have the pamphlet. And let's just check out the accessories first. And now let's just open this up, I guess. So, uh, there we go. So first up is the GAN 11M pamphlet. Uh, hope you can read Chinese, JK. I'm not JK. Let's move on now. This is the bag. Okay, very nice bag. It's kind of like the other ones, but you know, yes, very nice to have them. And their same pamphlet, of course. It's it's the same thing. And now the new thing here is this. So 
Uh, I'm pretty sure this is where the magnets are. Let's open it up, come on. This is awkward now. Okay, there we go. So yes, finally I opened it. Um, so this is probably the adjustment system and stuff. And then these are the different capsules that you can use for the magnets. So um, let's just leave this aside now. And yes, finally, the main event. And I can finally do this. And there we go. So this is the cube and wow, that's light. Like this is really, really light. Um, let's just do some first turns, I guess. Okay. Wow, this is fast. Wow, this is fast. Okay. It's really, really fast, but yet it's really stable because of the magnets. So it's really fun to turn. Um, it's really light and I'm not used to it, but you know, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so I can definitely turn like really fast with this. Like that's how easy it, it makes turning. It's so effortless. And you know, that, that's pretty cool. So um, I think I'm gonna have to loop this to, you know, give it an even nicer feeling, but right out of the box, this is pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, I, I can't get over how light this is. It's like compared to my worm. So this is the cube and you know, really nice sound. Um, like, because I looped it, but in comparison, like, wow, this is so light, but I don't think that's a problem with the GAN, with this cube, because I mean, like, it's just really, a, like, the magnets really help out a lot, so we can just, let's just take a quick look, actually. There you go. Just careful now. And let's see. If you look inside, you can see that there is, like, the core, and, like, it just, you know, makes the magnets attract each other and stuff, and it makes it more stable. So, I mean, that's really cool, and... And I realized I missed a few things to talk about here in my GAN 11. So first of all, I got the black version. And when you just like put it down here, it looks basically like my 356M. Like the shades are basically the same, just maybe slightly different. But aside from that, let's just corner cutting. I forgot to show that too. So, okay. So that's like around 45 degrees. So yeah, I can definitely corner cut that much and for reverse. Okay, that, that's easy. That's easy for the reverse. Wow. Okay, that, that, that's pretty cool. And before I move on to some final thoughts, here are just some cube ASMR, I guess. So just take a listen. So from what I can tell so far, the Mega Minx and the Square One, both of them are pretty good. So, um, I mean, I can't really provide uh, that much feedback compared to other people because I don't even know how to solve this thing. But from what I can tell, like it, it both of them seem pretty high quality, especially like um, this Square One here. I'm probably just not as used to the Mega Minx because like um, I can't like really turn it that well. Well, I'm not saying that I'm more used to this one, but. Um, I'm not able to finger trick it or move it as well. Anyway, um, I'm really sorry that I can't say that much for these two cubes and I'm definitely gonna make an updated review on both of them in another video. But anyway, let's put these aside now and let's talk about the GAN 11M Pro. Finally. So basically to sum up what I think about this cube, I think it's good but too expensive. Like, to be honest, when I started turning this cube, I wasn't like, wow, wow, the core is like super amazing and the magnets are so much better than any other cube I've tried. But of course, I mean, that doesn't mean that this cube isn't good. It's definitely a pretty great one and it's probably even better than my worm. But I mean, does that really justify like $60 for this? Um, probably not. So I wouldn't really recommend this pe to people that are just trying to buy a good cube. So maybe you could get another cube like for example the worm 2019 or if you really like gan you could get the 11m duo because 
it's basically the same cube but you can't adjust the magnets and stuff which is probably fine to the average cuber so that's basically it about what i think about the 11 and you know overall just a great cube i mean you can corner cut pretty well especially reverse reverse is pretty fun and you know the magnets are pretty cool it's really stable and yeah so basically that is it for this unboxing i really hope you enjoyed guys um do tell me in the comments what i could improve on because i mean this is like my first relatively big cube unboxing or something like that and i guess yeah so that is basically it for this video thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you next time bye for now